We've done a good deed today. This hive is no longer poor. All we had to do is invest in the community with some flowers <laughs> and give them some hope and opportunity. How do we get a window back? Oh, that doesn't sound good, but, uh, oh, we got it. Okay, cool. I mean, it sounds bad, but it worked. Good evening, survivors. Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to a uh, vintage story. So I am uh, just doing some smithing. Smithing is what we're doing, and I'm trying to make a copper plate. Um, actually, I just whipped up a couple of tin bronze weapons. I've got a tin bronze long blade head and a tin bronze spearhead. Still pretty hot, in fact, but um, now we're going to make a plate so that we can make a, uh, a lantern. So let's, let's heavy hit it. Hit it heavily. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Heavy hit. That's what I want. Heavy hitter. <laughs> Uh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Holy cow. Wait a second. What the heck's going on here? We do not have nearly enough copper to fill in all the blanks. So, can, is it possible to put another one on there? How do we do that? Oh, I did. Yeah, I just slap it right on top. And now we can heavy hit that. Am I still on heavy hit? Let's switch back to heavy hit and make sure we're on heavy hit. Yeah, okay. All right, there we go. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. We're going to spread it all out close to the edges as possible with our new bronze hammer just smacking that hot metal around who's the boss apparently me all right um that's enough heavy hitting i guess although maybe not look at that it really really does spread out nicely and then we can fine tune it with the rest and hopefully there's enough and i'm not losing any i don't know <laughs> i don't do a whole lot of blacksmithing but it sure is fun when you get it right. All right, let me just finish this job really quick. Got to get all these guys in the right spots. Bloop. I love that. <laughs> it's so cool. And then we'll have a plate. And we can use this plate to make a lantern. Now, I was thinking I was going to make two plates. But apparently, you need two copper ingots for one plate. So, I guess we're only going to end up with one lantern. I was hoping for two. But that's the way it goes. All right, you two, get up here. And there we go, right in the hole. And now we just bang these guys out. Knock them right off. And, oh, whoops. <laughs> I moved the hammer. I lifted my head. That's like a bad golf swing, right? Or baseball swing. There we go. Copper plate. Metal plating. How steampunky. It's super hot right now, obviously. Uh, looks like the tin bronze long head blade is nice and cool, so we can go ahead and make that sword tin bronze long blade. And we can make our spear as well. So now we have a bronze spear and a bronze sword, and these do more damage than the copper variety, and they're more durable. Hey, I heard that. All right, we're done forging for now, so let's put everything away. Um, now, to make that lantern, we're going to need a couple more ingredients. Let's take a look at it right here. Copper lantern. There's our copper plate. We're going to need um, glass slabs on the sides here or clear quartz, but we're going to make the glass anyway today. And this is the hard one right here. We've got to come up with a candle. So to make a candle, we need beeswax. It smells like Christmas. <laughs> to get beeswax, we need bees. So I think we're going to go out and find some bees today, too. Actually, we have bees. We found bees They're right down here, the little red bug waypoint beehive. So we'll go, um, we have to make a skep. Let's take a look at skep. Yes, we need to make an empty skep right here. Pretty easy to do. And then we can place that near the wild beehive. And this attracts new colony of bees to populate it. So they're going to fill it up. Then we can bring it home and set it up here at home. We'll have an apiary. So for now, I guess we'll just put the plate in here. Hot, 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 hot. Let it cool down in there. Um, and I think we're ready to move on to the next task. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Chisel. Yeah, I'm not even going to mess with the chisel right now. Um, I made some more bricks here. The fire bricks. Got 36 fire bricks now so we can make our um, the bloomery, right? So it required 12 total. I don't know where I'm going to put it, though. Like Once you put it down, you can't pick it up again. But I think you have to break it to get the stuff out. So I might 
bust up. Well, let's move this guy out of the way first. Do I have a pickaxe on me? I do. Let's make that bloomin' bloomery. So it is, hold on a sec, I forget. Let's bring it up. Bloomery base, bloomery chimney. So the bloomery base is this right there. Very nice. And now the chimney is four. And we got some extra for more bloomeries because like I said, apparently we have to destroy the bloomery to get the goodies out. So we're going to go through a lot of fire bricks. So fortunately, we have a very large supply of fire clay right around the corner. Um, all right, let's just plop it down here, I guess. Sure. Oh. Ooh, there was a little bit of delay there. I'm not sure why, but isn't that gorgeous? All right, it's got a hole in the center, and we can put stuff in there like, um, well, fuel and what we're trying to smelt. So let's put the top on. Do I have to squat? No, I don't have to squat. No squatting necessary. <laughs> uh, all right, so now what we need to do is fill it up with the goodies. We need some fuel. Brown coal does not work as far as I know. We need the charcoal. And of course, that's going to burn hot enough, 1300 degrees Celsius, to smelt our um, glass. Where is our glass? I don't remember where I put it. Is it in the dirt and the stone? Yes, right here. Quartz chunks, 1350. Ooh. Wait a second. Smelting temperature, 1350. Ah. Uh, eh. This only goes to 1300. How's that going to work? <laughs> We're going to be 50 shy. Maybe we need um, another kind of coal. That is possible. Holy smokes. I don't know. I might have to check the... Um, might have to refer to the wiki on this one. Anybody know? Fred? All right, let me just check the wiki real quick. I don't want to waste our charcoal. I, I don't have any black coal. But we might have to track some down because this might not get hot enough. Oh, boy. All right, hang on. Let me consult the great wiki. Uh-huh. Okay. One more bone. There you go. All right. Is that it? Fantastic. Okay, thanks. Uh, talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> okay, so I have consulted the bones of our ancient spirits here, and uh, they said that, yes, we can use charcoal to smelt quartz in the, uh, in the bloomery. So, yes, very, very helpful to have our ancient spirits watching over us. So, yes, we still have a bit of caveman in us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and put the quartz in. So according to the wiki and some people on the um, on the Discord, we can indeed use the charcoal. So, but first, we got to put in the quartz. There we go. Just pointing at this thing, right-clicking while squatting, and you can see the contents up there in the top. Point toward the bloomery base. That is not the top. We have 24 quartz chunks in there, and then we add the fuel. It tells us right there with the little um tool tip so those must be our ancestors watching over us thank you thank you so much <laughs> and now we ignite look at that fantastic and try not to burn the house down in the process look at that smoke popping up out of the chimney <coughs> oh, oh gosh uh we might have to make a full chimney right up through the second floor up through the roof because uh we're gonna asphyxiate uh, no we won't because we have no glass in the windows we're fine we're all good. And it looks like day is here. Now, according to the wiki, I mean the spirits above, this could take 10 hours. In-game hours, hopefully. <laughs> um, to process. And there's no GUI here. Like I said, you cannot see anything. You can only see what's in there by pointing at the bottom part down here. And then when it's done, we just bust it up. And I suppose we can tell when it's done when it start stops smoking. So now, my friends, it is time to go out and check on the bees. Six o'clock in the morning. Let me get ready. I'm going to put some of this stuff away and free up some space and grab the proper tools to make a skep. I guess we can make that skep right now. Uh, just cattails, right? And some clay. So is that 16 cattails? Do we have any cattails? Oh my gosh, we got tons and tons of cattails. Let's check the junk drawer. We'll use the blue clay for this. All right, there we go. We have one empty skep. I think that's all we need, really. Um, we can make more for later and then bring them back here. But right now, we just need one to put by the beehive. And then um, and then we capture the bees, and we can bring them back here and build up an apiary. Okay, yeah, let me get ready, and then we're going to head out. 
I should probably put my armor on just in case we get attacked by something out there. We're wandering in the woods. You never know what's out there. All right, all ready for a walk in the woods to find some bees. Yay! Fred, you're in charge, pal. Uh, what? I heard that, you meanie. He just said he hopes we get stung by many bees and that we're allergic. Well, we're not, so there. Haha. <laughs> well, at least I'm not. I don't know about you guys, but, uh, all right. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Should I close the front door? Yeah, I guess we might as well. Bye, Fred. Have a nice one. All right, let's go. So we got to go to the southwestish over that way. But hold on a sec, I'm seeing some blueberries over here. Might as well grab some fruit for the for the ride. A little sugary boost there. All right, up we go. Now we got a few things we have to do in order to place this skep. We have some conditions to meet, um, and that is we have to place the skep within seven blocks of the beehive and I think it's pretty high up in a tree if I remember so we might have to raise it up on a platform or something but that's so that the bees can see it and they'll swarm around it but we also need to put flowers around the area so let's grab some flowers we've got another cow parsley here Freddy's favorite and I think we need five flowers around the beehive so that they come out and they swarm at least that's what the ancestors told me when I consulted the bones, I did ask them about that as well. So hopefully they're right. Look at all this cow parsley here. Where's all the dang cows? I could go for a nice juicy steak. All right, that's four cow parsley. Again, we're gonna need five, and they have to be within seven blocks of the uh, of the beehive. Oh, it's a foxy woxy. Eh, do we want to bother? Nah. Let's leave him alone. We're not hunting today. Although if I see something delicious, I might. Like maybe a piggy wiggy, but not the fox. I think, I don't know if the fox drops red meat or that stringy bush meat that wolves love to drop us. That's no fun. Oh, look at this giant pine tree. Hold it up. What's this tree over here? I lost his top. All right, we'll tell you what, pal. I'll put you out of your misery. You're gonna die anyway. There we go. Some nice maple. Whoa, speaking of wolves. Holy smokes, you know what though? We got our new tin bronze spear, seven and a half piercing damage when thrown, and our new tin bronze long blade that's, what? It's already nicked because I hit Fred with it. 449 out of 450 durability. <laughs> Dang it, that Fred, he's always tempting me. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a piggy party. Oh yeah, piggy party, but keep your eyes open for that wolf. I heard one howling. Now, wait, is that a wolf or a piggy? Yeah, they're all piggies. The thing is, if we attack one piggy, we're gonna get we're gonna have a fight on our hands. Ha! We're gonna have a fight. Ow! Holy cow, you little stinker! Yeah, they're all they should all come. Out. Wow! Oh, God. <laughs> Hitting the wrong buttons here. Dang it! Okay, we're, we're we're getting attacked and we're taking some hits, but now they're on the run. I was hoping that tin bronze spear would do enough damage to send them running anyway, but apparently not. Now we gotta chase them down. All right, we got one. Skin them up. I want their skins and I want their fleshy, delicious bacon. Oh yeah, look at that bacon. And some more bones that we can use to consult our ancestors. How's our armor? We really gotta need better armor. The body armor is almost gone, dang it. Yeah, you cannot repair armor, you can only make more armor. Oh, hold on. The pig might come back after us, so we might as well take him out. While we have an opportunity, plus there's a wolfy here. This is why you want to put your armor on when you go traipsing around in the woods. Oh, oh no, it's a little, it's a little sheepy. All right, I don't see those pigs. They're they're gone, long gone. We got some bacon. Anyway, so let's go, let's go check out the bees right here. Oh, you can listen, you can hear them. Shh. Oh, <laughs> one shot. He must have been wounded. That must have been one of the wounded ones from before. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I poked them all at least once. There we go. Look at all that delicious bacon. We have to stock up for the winter, by the way. That is a thing in this game. I mean, it's only July right now. But when the winter comes, it's going to be cold and food is going to be scarce. And we need to stock up for the winter. Oh, look at all this wild growth here. Flax. We should probably grab it. 
bring it home. Plus we want the flax. And I really need a lot of sticks because we're running super low on sticks, believe it or not. Sticks. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Scared the heck out of me. Oh, you're not going to get away. <laughs> Told ya. You can't just bite me and then run. Sheesh. That hurt. Snuck right up behind. All right, look at all that meat. Five hides. How's that armor still holding up? Yeah. We're going to make some copper armor pretty soon to replace this stuff. I think I might grab some of these mushrooms while we're here. It's free eats, right? Can't pass up the free eats. It's like Forest Buffet. Um, all right, let's crank up the sound here, the ambient sound. So we can hear the bees and potentially any boars that try to sneak up on us and tusk us in the butt. Yes, you can hear them. Oh, sounds like a big healthy hive. I just don't see it and I don't want to destroy it accidentally. But here's what we're going to do. We are going to use our copper shears to shear some of these leaves. And we're going to get sticks and hopefully we don't shear the hive and destroy it. Because they're very hard to find, very rare. Oh, I thought I saw a little thing moving around down there. Looks like another boar. Doesn't seem very interested in us. Uh, we have plenty of bacon, though. We'll let them live. Yeah, I see the bees. You can see them, right? Swarming way up there. Super high. So let's start down here and work our way up. And we're going to have to make, again, I have to make a platform. Because I think that hive might be farther than seven blocks away from the ground. I don't know. We'll do some counting when we get up there. Just Again, I don't want to destroy it. Oh, we get saplings, by the way, when you use shears. Oh, I thought that was a bee coming at me. <laughs> yeah, look at them all. It's going to be so glorious. All right. Easy does it. Easy does it. Don't want to upset the bees. I don't think they will sting you if you get too close. It's just if you... Oh, there it is. There it is. Wild beehive. It's medium. Population size is poor. Aw. Aw. That's so sad. Uh, all right, so it looks like they're close enough to the ground. Let's just get rid of this stump right here. Let's grab some free eats. Um, and now we're going to get our cow parsley out here. We got four cow parsley. Oh, gosh. Um, we're going to have to find some more flowers. There's one right there. Yeah, we need at least five flowers. All right, bees, don't go away. I'll be right back. Got to go grab another flower. Right, right here. Oh, wait a second. That's not a flower. It's a trap. Run, wolves. <laughs> or boars. <laughs> yeah, that's not a flower. That is a boar that we killed. Hi. Oh, boy. Wolf. We got a wolf on our tail. Try to get away. Fight him in the open over here. Some water. Oh, another one. Ah, it's a whole pack. Get to the water. All right, we should be safe in here. Ooh, whoa! Oh my gosh! He's right on top of me. Oh, he's fast. Oh my god! <laughs> Four of them! Are you kidding me? There's a whole pack! Wow, and a little guy. I think a little dude. Alright. You guys want some of this? I didn't think so. But you're gonna get some anyway. <laughs> get out of here! Oh, wait, I just saw a little pup. That means one of these is the parent. So I'm gonna let one parent live. Um, but I did annihilate all the rest. I lost my spear. Yeah, never throw a spear. Oh, because then you might lose it. There it is. Got it. Killed the whole family of wolves. And we got that lousy bush meat. I don't really even want it. Man, that tin bronze sword really is nice, isn't it? <laughs> but the only way you can defeat a pack like that is in the water. If they get to you, they'll shred you pretty quickly. All right, I feel like I should take the meat. Oh, uh-oh. That guy coming back for more? Go we'll take care of your kid. All right, 25 stringy, bushy meat. All right, now let's go find that dang file. Oh, wow. Oh, Dad, no. Dude, go. Go take care of your kid. Oh, wow. We just made an orphan. <laughs> We just orphaned that poor little wolf cub. It's all right. It's just going to grow into something big and mean and bitey anyway. Hello? You guys seen any flowers around? 
All right, I'm gonna go over here and find some flowers in the plains. Gotta be. Oh, there's that little guy. Sorry, your dad started it. Oh, okay, many flowers. There we go. There's parsley and a cow parsley. All right, now let's get back to those bees. I think the reason it's a poor population is that they have no flowers. So we're going to be helping them out quite a bit here. What is that? Nothing. And now I'm spooked. But I think we just wiped out the entire wolf population of this area. <laughs> they were probably killing everything. Oh, I think I just heard some more growling. Are you kidding me? Yeah. All right. Where's that hive? All right. Let's turn down that hive sound now since it's right there in front of us. <laughs> And you can see right there, nearby flowers are zero, and that's probably why the population is so poor. Let's put down some soil here, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna put the flowers on it. Oop, I guess we can't put it on top of a mushroom. That's fine. We just need five within seven blocks, and this looks like it's within seven blocks, doesn't it? Let's count just to be sure. Oh, oh, well, that was close. I thought I destroyed it. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, okay. Very good. It's definitely within seven. Just want to make sure. I don't want to eyeball it and get it wrong. Now we're going to put in our cow parsley. Freddy would be proud. So one, two, three, four, five. And we'll just do a six for good measure. Right here. Why not? And then the skep we have to put down as well somewhere super close put the skep right here where we can see it and keep track of it oh so even got a little door in front isn't that cute oh i love it and i'm gonna make a path here out oh uh raccoon don't you even dare raccoons steal honey from hives so that's why when we get our skep and our apiary set up back at our base we have to make sure it is protected it is protected from the uh, from the raccoons, especially Rocky down in our trench. I'm gonna move this over. It seemed like it was too far. We'll put it right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we just wait, and this process could take a very long time. Oh, are you stuck there? Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> that's a pity, little piggy. Ooh, dang it, you ran. Where'd he go? Ah. All right, let's go back here and just have a quick look at this one more time. Make sure it's all set up properly. And then we're going to go and leave the bees to their thing. Oh, look at that. Isn't that really cool? That looks great. I love the particles. Look at those little bees. Oh, check it out. The information has changed now. So we now have nearby flower six. Population size went from poor to large. Told you guys we'd take care of you. And it will swarm in approximately 10 days. So there we go. We don't have to guess. So we'll come back in 10 days. Yeah, we'll come back on uh, July 11th and grab our skep and then make an apiary. And I do believe our work is done here. We've done a good deed today. This hive is no longer poor. All we had to do is invest in the community with some flowers <laughs> and give them some hope and opportunity. So there you go. Everybody's doing fine here. And let's get back. Oh, hi. Another piggy. I lost him. Yep, he's gone. You know what this game needs? Blood trails. Blood trails so I can track that wounded beast. I feel bad. He's running around wounded. Maybe it will bleed out. I don't know. But it would be really cool to have... <gasps> blood trail. Nope. Just mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, little blood particles left behind so we can follow them and finish the poor little thing. Maybe I should consult the bones. Now, nah, let's go. Let's go. It's getting dark. We should get home. And I think I might grab a few more of these. Well, we don't have to worry about running straight into any wolves around here for a while. Since we wiped out the entire population. All right, home sweet home. Let's check on the bloomery and see if the glass is done. I don't think we're going to get to the windows today in this episode because this episode is very long. Hi, Fred. We're back. I'm not going to hit you with my sword. Um, it's done. It looks like it's done. It contains 12 glass. So let's, I guess we'll break it. <laughs> we might as well break it. Hold on though. Let me just get rid of some of the stuff here in my inventory. Okay, let's bust it open because there's really no other way to interact with it. Right clicking doesn't help. So as far as I know, we just destroy it. 
I don't know if we get it back or not either. Let's see. Oh, we get the bricks back. And we get the glass. All right, we got eight bricks and we got our 12 glass. And now we're going to make some... How do we make the slabbies? There we go. I think I needed a few slabs upstairs. Ah! What the heck? Snuck right through the window. Fred! Dude, Fred! What the... Oh my. And now he's right in the window sill. Uh, well, that's okay. I can take care of that. <laughs> Let's carve him up. Like a turkey. Okay, beat it. Sheesh, we almost made it. Alright, let's put our windows in. <laughs> let's put in full windows here. And full windows over here. And then we'll... Oh! I missed. Dang nabbit. I blew it. So how do we... How do we get a window back? Oh, that doesn't sound good. I don't think that's the way to do it. But, uh... Oh! We got it. Okay, cool. I mean, it sounds bad, but it worked. Fantastic. You can get glass back. That's awesome. All right. And now we can put our slabs up here. I'm going to make sure they're the horizontal kind so we don't mess this up. Although apparently you do get glass back anyway. Oh, wait. Oh, these are fully, fully clear. Full clear. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah, this is the good stuff. This is the good stuff. Fantastic. All right. And then we can get rid of this. And put in the nice clear stuff. Um, oh. Yeah, we're gonna need more. <laughs> so it looks like I'm gonna have to make some more glass and another bloomery for this here, which I will do off camera. So we'll have it all done for next time. But that is so nice having those windows in now. You don't have to worry about any sneaky little drifters sneaking in. Right. New bloomery coming up. Fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful. Check it out. We put in six charcoal and light it up. Oop, got a squat. There comes the smoke. We're going to get 12 more glass, and I will finish this job for next time. Oh, look at that glass. It is, it is glorious, isn't it? All right, my friends. We'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye-bye. We're going to eat. Hungry.